classified documents reveal that from the end of World War II through the Cold War, hidden under a veil of secrecy, the U.S. government performed military tests on large populations. In the late 40s and early 50s, patients were injected with a radioactive substance while in their hospital bed. See, my, my father never told me. I never knew that this happened to him. Soldiers were exposed to radiation to test their performance in a nuclear war. In the 1950s, the Army released bacteria and chemicals at sea, in the air, and underground. I found out that four of my pals that lived directly across the street from me had all died of cancer. These are four separate families. In 1995, a presidential advisory committee confirmed that for more than three decades, hundreds of thousands of Americans have been unwitting participants in human experimentation. It is a very, very important piece of America's history, and it will shape America's future. Soviets spread deadly bacteria over highly populated areas, or spray into the air invisible chemicals that can kill thousands on contact. A decision is made in high places. Tests are needed. San Francisco Bay, California, 1950. During seven days in September, the Army simulates a bacteriological attack on the city. Declassified Army documents reveal that in six such attacks, large amounts of bacteria called serratia marcescens are sprayed towards San Francisco from a small Navy boat in the bay. Carried by the wind, the airborne bacteria spread over a large area. The Army wants to know how far the bacteria can go. These declassified maps of the actual test show the extent of the area that is covered. The Army decided to do what was called a vulnerability test program. And the effort was over a period of 20 years, actually, between 1949 and 1969, when hundreds of tests were conducted over populated areas to see whether by spraying germs and certain chemicals, whether they would endanger a large population. Now, the Army did spray a lot of bacteria around, although they weren't the highly dangerous kind that would be used as an actual weapon. The bacteria that they used did have some help.